Good day. Today we're going to learn about edit mode as well as how to extrude uh, different objects in Blender. So let's check it out. Okay, uh, so let's open up Blender. Now, the cube. Okay, most of the time we delete them. This time we're actually going to keep them. Okay? So, first thing we're going to do is let's zoom in. Okay, so we've got our friend the cube here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change this. Right now we are in what's called object mode. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to edit mode. Edit mode is when you want to adjust, you want to play with just one object and work with it. Let's go here where it says object mode. Let's click. Let's go to edit mode. Now you notice that we've got the cube looks a little different. Okay. What we've got is we've got this whole thing selected. So our first step is going to be let's press our A key. Let's deselect everything. Now, the default method of uh, selection now is what's called the vertex select mode. A vertex where two lines meet. So on this cube, there's, there are plenty of vertices. There's vertex here, vertex here, vertex here, vertex here. So if you want to select one of them, you just click like that. And that's how you select a vertex. Now, here's the question. Um, what? Why does this matter? Well, okay, with the vertex, I'm going to press and hold my shift key. All right, now I can now select multiple vertices. And actually, when I select four, I then get the whole face of that selected. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extrude. Okay, that's a funny way of thing, saying things, but it's not too crazy. So, right here where it says add, and you can play around with here. You can do extrude region or extrude individual. I'm going to start out with just extruding the region. Now watch that. That now takes that face we selected and moves it out. So let's go ahead. Let's bring our, our cube out like that. Okay, cool, neat. Let's now, uh, I'm going to change. I just pressed my 7 key. I'm going to get a top-down view. Let's go ahead uh, let's go with our top-down view just to start out. Okay, now we've got that whole face, okay, selected. We don't want that, so I'm going to press my A key to deselect it. Okay, so now we've still got our cube right here with that extra region. Okay, next step. What we're going to do is, uh, in this case, we're going to take our. We're going to keep on vertex select mode. Press Shift and hold Shift, right mouse button right mouse button and now what we're going to do is we're going to do another extrude region okay so now you can see we've got the flap of that uh, object out I'm actually going to do that one more time I'm going to change my view here so now we're going to do a extrude region and you can see there now we've got a, a much better situation as far as our um, uh, that region. So I'm going to try that one more time. There we go. So that, that's how we got things. We can extrude it just like that. So now we've got some sort of crazy flap thing there. Cool. Okay. Last step. Well, a few more steps, but what we're going to do then is uh, we're going to change our select mode. So right here, you can go here. Instead of doing a vertice select, we're going to do an edge select. Okay. So an edge select is a little different. It'll now select a, a an edge, okay? And again, you can do it. Go ahead, shift, click, shift, and right click. That'll add another thing. So now let's go ahead. Let's try this extrude region again. So you can see here, we got uh, <laughs> well, it went a little far there. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a shift, right click. All right, now let's try that again. So now let's do an extrude region. And now you can see I got all three of those out there, all three of those edges. Last one. OK, so another cool thing you can do is you can select by a face. So let's go ahead and select by face. That's going to be that, one, that fellow right here. You can select an entire face of an object. So you can see here. And do is press, just do a right click and that'll now select a entire face. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Uh, shift button, 
right mouse, right mouse button then. Let's do here, extrude region. You can actually just bring out stuff just like that. Now, I think a cool thing you can do too is, so you can see from that basic cube, you can do a lot of neat things. And look at that, that's neat. Um, additionally, another thing you can do is, let's select a face, okay? And just for fun, since this is a 3D object, watch this. So I'm going to select this face right here. Let's go ahead then, and we're going to go to Delete. And we're going to go here to Faces. Notice, we now have a 3D space within that this uh, box I made. So I'm going to take off this top face here. Again, move Faces. Let's go ahead here, remove that face. So now, as you can see, you can tell that this box is hollow. Okay, so this is much different from Blender, where it's just 2D. Okay, so folks, uh, that's how you work with edit mode and how you extrude things. Uh, additionally, that's how you select uh, different aspects of um, of a 3D object. I wish you the best of luck uh, with the project that goes along with this.